Yo, what up people, it's your boy The Laugh King coming at you with a quick video. And in this video, I just want to talk about these quotes uh, from Danielle Ahmad that I seen on his Twitter the other day. Basically stating that um, EA has 35 new games in various levels of development. I assume this includes some of the annual games. Uh, they did announce Battlefield, so that's definitely one of them. And a few, maybe a couple of Star Wars games, I can't remember. Uh, uh, no announcements on an EA basketball game today. Believe they've underperformed here, thinking through the best ways to approach this game. So, basically, uh, what I think this means is that I think EA doesn't have the necessary star power to get behind the game because, like, EA is not going to release a game that they don't feel that they can market. Uh, the game was probably solid. They did state that when they when they uh, when they canceled Live 20, that the gameplay was actually uh, coming along well or whatever. But they felt like they should just polish the game more, or blah blah blah. So, you know, they've been using the same language when it comes to NBA Live over the last two three years now. So, but I think that whatever they have right now if they feel that they didn't have uh, a good product on their hand or whatever or something at least solid they wouldn't have hired you know scott og and rob jones uh so this is to me this is marketing they want to get some star power behind their game uh they signed Giannis Antetokounmpo for nba live mobile and I still think he's going to be the cover of NBA Live of the next console game that gets released. They put Giannis in Madden along with his brothers. Uh, they're just trying to, I, I believe they're just trying to build that roster of, of people that they can count on to help market their game. Because like I said, remember a couple years ago when Live 19 or was it, I think it was Live 19, uh, 2K actually went in and you know they signed a lot of the content creators to like exclusive deals to keep them away from ea uh they had ea had candace parker she's over there now at 2k uh 2k was signing deals with durant they signed deals with zion uh and somebody else can't remember who they signed but yeah uh, 2k is trying to poach all this talent from ea and ea is just probably trying to figure out how they can get people behind their game so that's what that's all i think this is um but one thing that ea has advantage with is they have the clc right they announced the college football game and you know they haven't announced anything basketball wise so if they want people to buy nba live or at least pick it up uh, i think you know putting it putting it on pc would be one thing but having college uh teams in the game uh would be a different look because a lot of people loved nba live 09 because nba live 09 and some of the other ones had the fiba license nba live 10 had the fiba license as well so i can't remember i'm pretty sure 08 can't remember if 07 i didn't play 07 but uh it free, free for a few years ea had the fiba license so if you put if you want to dominate the US market or get people back on the live train in the US market, you got to put college basketball in there somehow. You can take 20 teams, get permissions from, you know, those those uh, companies and see if they can you can put them in the game. Uh, put it in play now with generic characters just so and you have the ability to adjust those uh, numbers, uh, ratings or whatever and just you know just put it in the game and just to see if people will actually buy it because i know people want college basketball like if you want to play a college basketball ncaa 10 if you want to play that you have to look for the game and some places online got that for like 50 bucks they got it for like a hundred dollars some people selling it probably for like a thousand dollars uh but if you have a brand new engine with nba live and you want you want to get the most hands on the game college is your answer the engagement alone from nca uh from call it the college football announcement should give you a hint on what you want to do with that game right it doesn't have to be anything big it could just be like a sample size and it could also bring in uh, 
or give you the idea of the possibility of bringing back another NCAA game, right? Because remember, 2K doesn't have the rights to put out uh, anything NCAA, especially with football. Uh, I read that was an EA exclusive, so they already have the, the stranglehold on that. So that would be an ideal thing to do for NBA Live. I think it will work. You want to sell copies, you want to get people playing your game. To me, in the biggest market, which is the US, to me, it, to me, it's a no-brainer. So I'm going to leave it at that. Didn't want this video to be too long. Let me know what you guys think, and I'll catch you guys on the next video. All right, peace.